Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. In this video, we'll be discussing a few more problems of the subject soil mechanics and foundation engineering from the APSC question paper for the post of assistant engineer under PWD under 3F regulation. These questions are also important for the end semester examinations of BTEC and diploma as well as for other APSC examinations like PWD JE, PHU, WRE, lecturer in polytechnic, irrigation, etc. We have already discussed some problems of this subject in the previous video. If you haven't watched it yet, I'll attach the link above. Do check it out. So let's get started. The first question is, undrained shear strength of a saturated clay tested in unconfined compression is given in terms of unconfined compressive strength QU as, and these are the four options that are given. Now, we know that the undrained shear strength of a saturated clay is expressed as tau F is equal to Cu is equal to Qu by 2. Therefore, Cu is equal to 0 0.5 Qu. Therefore, the answer to this question is option D, that is, Cu is equal to 0 0.5 Qu. Let us come to the next question. If soil is dried beyond its shrinkage limit, it will show, and these are the options that are given. Now, upon the semi-solid state, the soil remains fully saturated and any reduction in the volume of water will result in an almost equal reduction in the soil mass. A further reduction in the water content, however, brings about a state when with a decrease in moisture, the volume of soil mass does not decrease any further but remains the same. The sample changes from the semi-solid to the solid state. The boundary water content is called the shrinkage limit. Therefore, the answer to this question is option A, that is no volume change. Let us come to next question. The intensity of active earth pressure at the depth 10 meter in dry cohesionless sand with angle of internal friction of 30 degree and with unit weight of 18 kilonewton per meter cube is. Now, let us solve this problem. So, we know the intensity of active earth pressure is given as PA is equal to Ka into gamma into Z, where Ka is the coefficient of earth pressure and it is given as 1 minus sine phi by 1 plus sine phi. Now, the value of phi is given in the question as 30 degree. So, we can write down 1 minus sine 30 degree by 1 plus sine 30 degree which is equal to 1 by 3. Now gamma is the unit weight of soil which is given in the question as 18 kilonewton per meter cube and z is the depth which is given as 10 meter. Therefore we can write down Pa is equal to 1 by 3 into 18 into 10 which is equal to 60 kilonewton per meter square. Therefore, the answer to this question is option A, that is 60 kilonewton per meter square. Let us come to the next question. The hydraulic gradient needed to make effective stress zero at a point in fine sand will be given by. Now, the hydraulic gradient which is needed to make the effective stress zero in fine sand is known as the critical hydraulic gradient and that is given by the critical hydraulic gradient is gamma submerged by gamma w or it is also equal to g minus 1 by 1 plus e. But neither of these equations is given in the options. So it has been mentioned after a few days of the exam that the correct option was missing from the options given in the question and hence one mark was allotted to everyone uh, whether they attempted it or not. So there is no correct answer here, neither A, B, C or D, but the correct answer is either gamma dash by gamma W or G minus 1 by 1 plus E. Next question is, a normally consolidated clay settled 10 mm when effective stress was increased from 100 kN per meter square to 200 kN per meter square. If effective stress is further increased from 200 kN per meter square to 400 kN per meter square, then the settlement of the same clay is. Now, C 
settlement SC is given by the formula CC H naught by 1 plus E naught log of sigma F dash by sigma not dash where cc is the compression index h naught is the height of the layer of soil the initial height e naught is the initial void ratio sigma naught dash is the initial uh, pressure and sigma final dash is the final pressure now we can see that the sc is given in as 10 mm in the first case and this sigma naught the initial is given as 100 kilonewton per meter square and the final is given as 200 kilonewton per meter square. So we can write down 10 is equal to cc h naught by 1 plus e naught log of 200 by 100 which is equal to cc h naught by 1 plus e naught log of 2. Now in the second case also the initial stress is 200 kilonewton per meter square and the final stress is 400 kilonewton per meter square. So this will again be log of 2. So since this all these values will remain same and this will also log of 2. So we can directly find out from the question that the settlement will also be 10 mm. But if you want to solve it if you are not very sure about the shortcut method then you can also solve and see that from this equation we can find out cc h naught by 1 plus e naught is equal to from this equation we have is equal to 10 by log of 2 which is equal to 33.219 so we have for the second case sc is equal to cc h naught by 1 plus e naught log of sigma f dash by sigma naught dash which is equal to 33.219 because this the value of this entire part is 33.219 and log of sigma f dash is 400 in this case and in the denominator we have 200. So this value comes out to be 10 mm. So the answer in this case is option B that is 10 mm. Let us come to the next question. If the porosity of a soil sample is 20%, the void ratio is. This is a very simple question. We all know that the void ratio E is equal to N by 1 minus N where N is the porosity. In this case, the porosity is given as 20% which is 0 0.2, 1 minus 0 0.2. So the void ratio will be 0 0.25. So the answer is option C that is 0 0.25. Let us come to the next question. A strip footing is founded at a depth of 1.2 meter below the surface of a deep stratum of soft saturated clay having unit weight of 19.5 kilonewton per meter square and unconfined compression strength of 50 kilonewton per meter square. The ultimate bearing capacity according to Terzaghi is. So let us solve this problem. Now, according to Terzaghi, we have the ultimate bearing capacity is equal to C and C plus Q and Q plus 0 0.5 gamma B and gamma. Now, for footing some saturated clays, as has been mentioned in the question, phi U may be taken as equal to 0. And for phi U equal to 0, we have NC is equal to 5.7, NQ is equal to 1, and N gamma is equal to 0. Therefore, the equation becomes QU is equal to 5.7 CU plus Q. Q is the overburden pressure. So, we can write this as, instead of Q, we can write gamma df where gamma is the unit weight of soil and df is the depth at which the footing is placed. So we can write down therefore qu is equal to 5.7. What is the value of cu? In the question we have the unconfined compression strength is given as 50 kilonewton per meter square. 
So we know Cu is equals to half of the unconfined compressive strength. So we can write down 50 by 2. Also, gamma and df are given in the question. Gamma is given as 19.5 kilonewton per meter square and df is given as 1.2 meter. So we can write down plus 19.5 into 1.2 which is equal to 165.9 kilonewton per meter square. So the answer to this question is option C that is 165.9 kilonewton per meter square. Now let us come to the last question of this video. The void ratios at the densest, loosest and the natural states of a sand deposit are 0 0.2, 0 0.6 and 0 0.4 respectively. The relative density of the deposit is now the relative density is defined as the ratio of the difference between the void ratio of a cohesionless soil in the loosest state and the void ratio in its natural state to the difference between its void ratios in the loosest and densest states. So we can write the relative density dr or id is equal to e max minus e natural by E max minus E minimum into 100% where E max is the void ratio in its loosest state that is given as 0 0.6. E natural is the void ratio at its natural state that is given as 0 0.4 and E minimum is the void ratio at its densest state that is 0 0.2. So all the values are given in the question so we can easily calculate the answer. So the answer we get by calculating is 50%. So the answer to this question is option C that is 50%. Thanks for watching. We have a lot of other videos related to the MCQs for different competitive examinations especially APSC. If you have any query related to this video or any other video or any question that you want to ask. You can write down in the email address given in the description box or also you can comment to this video. Do follow us on our Facebook page. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Do hit the bell icon so that you can always be updated about the latest updates on our channel.